Hey folks, today I'm going to be working on this machine. It's a 12 by 4 inch planar thicknesser. It was made by Whitehead, who were subsequently bought over by Cooksley, very similar to the Wadkin or Sedgwick machines. This machine is a three phase machine, so today we're going to be converting it to a single phase motor. The motor in the machine currently is a 400 volt three phase motor and it is rated for two horsepower, which is about one and a half kilowatts, and the speed is about 1400 RPM. This is the new motor I've selected. It's a 230 volt four pole motor rated for 1440 RPM. The two pole motors generally run about twice the speed. So a four pole motor is more expensive, but more suitable to this application. It's rated at 2.2 kilowatts, three horsepower, which is a bit more than the one we're replacing, but it's good to have the extra power. And importantly, it has a 28 mil keyed shaft, which is the same as the old motor. First thing I'm going to do is going to remove the wiring and the start stop switch from the old motor. This actually uses a three phase contactor, which we might reuse if we wire it for single phase. We'll see. At the top we have our three wires for our three phases and our earth. I'm going to remove that. And the three wires going to the motor. Can now remove this metal plate. It's not original to the machine. Self-tapping screws. Lovely. So this is actually a little metal box for mounting the switch gear in. I was hoping we'd be enough access here to get into the motor to loosen off the bolts. So we'll have to go in another way. Next we're going to take the tension off the belts. To do that we loosen this bolt. The whole motor is mounted on a frame that swings from this pivot point. So if we loosen this, we should be able to lift the motor up a little bit to take the pressure off the belts. Of course, everything is imperial, it being an old English machine. We're working with a 5 8 inch socket. Which is around 16. So that's enough now that we can pop both our belts off. We're going to loosen the set screw holding the pulley on. Just back it out a couple of turns. And then we're going to use a puller Pull it off. It's already coming nice and easily. So to remove the motor, it is possible to get it out through the square hole, but it's very awkward. And to get at the mounting bolts, 
very little space. Um, so I'm just going to remove the base from the machine. It splits in half between the base and the thicknesser. Just four bolts and then we can use the engine crane to hoist it up. And we'll have plenty of space for working. We've got the machine apart from the base now. And we can see the motor. So we have much more access now. We can take the motor out nice and quickly. We've got the motor out now. The new motor is slightly different dimensions. It's longer for one. So this box will have to go. Thankfully it's only screwed on. It's only sheet steel. Then looking at the two motors side by side. We have a different bolt placement between the two of about two centimeters each way. So we're going to have to re-drill one of the mounting holes on each bracket and then we're going to move this one back by about an inch. Thankfully it's only aligned with these two spacers which are held in with allen keys, allen bolts so we can move them over very easily. So we've got the new motor installed now and we have it wired up so it's running anti-clockwise which is needed for this machine. We've reused the contactor and wired it to work with single phase and we've put a new 16 amp inlet socket. So now we can try it out. <laughs> Seems to be running perfectly, so we can put the machine back on the base now. So we have the machine fully back together now, and we are ready for a test run. I have the planer set up to take 2mm off in a pass, so we're going to try it on the edge of this bit of larch, first of all. Quick look here now at the finished surface. It's fairly good, the knives seem to be fine. So I'm going to wrap it up here now. Um, hopefully that was interesting. I had the option of going for a VFD to convert the, our single phase here into three phase, but for roughly the same price as a motor, I thought the motor would be a better long term solution than a cheap Chinese VFD that might last a few years at most. Okay, thank you, bye bye.